next up, um, we've now got down to our penultimate speaker, which is Sonia Gonzalez, um, who's the SDR coach at the SDR coach. And she's going to be talking about kindness in sales in a world that is very results driven, as we all know. Um, what does kindness in sales actually mean? Uh, and so I'm excited to bring her up to the stage. Um, she's already done a session for our membership this afternoon, um, which was fantastic, a lot on prioritization and timekeeping. Um, but she's just a wonderful individual. I'm really grateful for the support and her brand ambassadorship for sales confidence. Um, she's got over 10 years experience in the SaaS space and uh, her, her knowledge speaks for itself. Thank you. Thank you, James, for that introduction and also for having me on to speak today. It really is a pleasure and the talks so far have all been really insightful. I'd say as well, there's been a commonality with all of the talks where they've been people centric. Right. And that's very much what my talk today is going to be about. I'm going to be talking about kindness in sales, which is definitely a topic that doesn't get brought up enough, in my opinion. What I'm going to be covering today is going to be what does kindness in, sale, in sales mean to me, but also to some other people from my LinkedIn network. How can you be kinder to your team and how can you be kinder to yourself? Just to give you a little bit of background on myself, um, I help SaaS companies develop, expand and coach their SDR teams by providing a fully tailored flexi coaching approach. I also mentor women in sales and I'm a podcast host and brand ambassador for Sales Confidence. My mission within what I'm doing at the SDR Coach is to disrupt the sales industry with kindness and education by making it a fairer, more inclusive, knowledgeable, and overall happier industry to be in. Think that we all know that the world of sales is numbers driven. It can be really stressful and it can be mentally taxing. Whereas um, kindness costs nothing, and actually the compound result, the results are extensive. So first of all, I'm going to talk about what does kindness in sales mean to me? To me, it means being kind, empathetic, respectful and inclusive. It also means seeking to understand and seeking to help and that's internally, but also externally. It's about collaborating, lifting and supporting others and not just looking our, at our own reward looking to really make a contribution, pay it forward and help everyone around us. It's about pu putting people first. It's also about being honest and transparent. And ultimately, it's about being human. I really like this quote that says, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. And it's true. We are all capable of being kind and looking out for the people around us, especially when we're leading a team. I did go a step further and actually asked my LinkedIn network on Monday, what does kindness in sales mean to them? And if we look at some of these responses, we can see that actually there are a lot of similarities. It is about being empathetic, respectful, honest, transparent, supporting, helping others succeed. And we can see that throughout all of this is about actually genuinely caring, right? For the people around us and for our customers, the people that we're speaking to, our prospects, etc. I'm going to ask the audience to put in the comments what kindness in sales means to them. And hopefully we'll continue to see that a lot of these words keep repeating themselves. There's, there's a reason for that. And I think that every single one of us can look to improve 1% in any of these traits or elements. So how can you be kind to your teams? I think the first one is kind of a given, but so many leaders don't actually do it. And it's to get to know your team and be their biggest cheerleader. Understand that every rep is different, learns differently at different speeds and comes from a different walk of life. So might have different levels of experience, different levels of confidence, different levels of self-belief, etc. Promote a safe and positive culture where every salesperson is encouraged to grow. Sales is tough. Being an SDR, being a BDR is tough, especially when you're just getting started. You don't really know what you're doing. You're testing a lot of things out. But as Carly said in her talk, by providing that psychologically safe place, 
then people are encouraged to fail, to test things out, to grow together. And it ultimately promotes trust. You can also be kinder, more empathetic, more respectful and more inclusive, even just by getting to know your team and by understanding that they have different walks of life, you'll be able to do that because then you'll be able to address them and address um, the way they are in different ways. You'll be able to help them in ways that are good and tailored to them and their behaviors. Providing training and coaching to also help them unlock their potential is going to be extremely important. A lot of these times, a lot of the times when SDRs are uh, coming as entry roles, brand new from, uni from university, they haven't yet had the time to work on their self-belief, on their experience. So to have someone else believe in them is extremely important in allowing them to develop themselves and to continue to grow. Communicate well and frequently. Being transparent is extremely important. And lift and encourage your team because overall happier people generally achieve better results. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is how can you be kinder to yourself? Because in order to be kind to your teams, you also need to be looking after yourself. You also need to be kind with yourself. So making sure that you're um, practicing self-care, that you're looking after yourself and creating good habits is going to be just as beneficial to you as it will be to your team down the line. Taking breaks, holidays and not overworking after hours sets a good example as well. Taking breaks is good for every single person and it's necessary. There might be times where overworking is necessary and cannot be avoided. My advice would be, for example, never send reps emails on the weekend. I remember when I was getting started in my, in my sales career eight years ago, one of my managers would send me emails on a Sunday, every Sunday. As someone that was quite ambitious, uh, high performing, wanting to do well, I would respond straight away, regardless of what I was doing on a Sunday. But it meant that when I came back to work on Monday, I was already in that mindset. I had already worked for some of the week and maybe I didn't have as much energy as I would have if I hadn't worked on Sunday. There is wonderful uh, scheduling things that you can do within Gmail and other email suites. If you do have to send out emails on a Sunday, schedule them so that they get out on Monday morning. Don't get your reps working on the weekend. It's not going to benefit them on that week. Seek help and advice when needed. Surround yourself with a good network and collaborate with other people doing similar roles than yourself. You'll learn so much from them and they'll learn so much from you. Set realistic expectations for yourself, but also for your team. And again, communicate them clearly. Reflect on personal wins, on team wins, but also on how to improve on areas of improvement. Don't take for granted how much you can get ahead just by improving 1% of processes day by day. And the last thing I will say is to not dwell on things that you can't control. There is so much that happens every single day that we have no control over. By focusing on that, we're using our energy in the wrong places. Focus on what you can control. I'm not going to be reading over all of these reviews. They are recommendations that are available within my LinkedIn, and there are 45 others that can be read. But I did want to highlight some of the sentences within this because they really do highlight the impact of kindness in sales and the impact on these SDRs, on these reps, which at the end of the day are the leaders of tomorrow. So within the first one, one thing I want to highlight is excellent way of getting to know everyone she teaches to dig out what they will benefit from. This is something I mentioned at the beginning, but understanding what each of your reps is going to benefit from is going to be really key for you to be able to help them. Next one within the first one is as a team, we've been getting the highest numbers ever, highly recommended. Just comes to show that kindness actually does lead to results as well. On the second review, I wanna highlight, amazed by how fast she built an amazing team culture, 
increase the collaboration between our go-to-market team whilst driving stellar results overall. Collaboration will always make the car go faster. And the last thing uh, in the last recommendation is extraordinary professional with a very rare profile in sales. Leadership through kindness leads people to success by building a safe and friendly environment that allows people to grow and explore their full potential. We don't grow without failure. So by providing that safe environment, we're actually enabling all of our reps to grow. Thank you all for listening. And if 1% uh, of all of you become more aware of how you can be kinder to yourself and to your teams, then together we can make the world of sales and the sales industry a little bit happier and a little bit kinder. So thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Sonia. Really appreciate that. And also just a nice way to have people reflect on themselves and how they treat others. So I appreciate that.